wouldn't think it would be that big a deal, but apparently the vote went 16 to 18, so 16 board members thought it was a big enough deal to keep it the same. Yeah, My question to you yeah. is, where, where why did you choose to keep it as a, um, why did you choose to hold this as a secret ballot? Oh, I didn't choose that. Why was I it chosen? I spoke in favor of the motion. My sentiments were not secret. The decision to hold a secret vote was that of uh, the chair of the meeting ask him. And then how do you justify or reconcile saying that it wasn't that big a deal or one felt, uh, speaking in an odd tense, that it wasn't a big deal if uh, 16 people clearly voted uh, to keep the mission statement as it was? That's a fairly tight vote. It's a, it is a pretty tight vote, but that doesn't change what the stakes are. In other words, you have plenty of votes which are close votes but where the issues themselves aren't necessarily big deals. I thought that after all of this is over, you guys will hopefully see in a couple of days that this was not a terribly important matter so far as Shimer is concerned, your classes, or anything else connected with Shimer. That was certainly the spirit in which I voted for the motion. I'd like to recognize that Okay. All right, I'll see you well. Good. Gets to decide 
its own. I might agree with you or might not agree with you. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Except, of course, the criteria of the Higher Learning Commission is not that you establish a dialogue, but that you reach a consensus and an agreement. Oh, you know what? I think there'll be a fair consensus when the time rolls around. Really? Yeah. I'm really curious. You said that there's a difference between what we think is a big deal and what is actually a big deal. Yeah. Um, I'm wondering, do you think there's a difference between what you think is a big deal and what isn't a big deal? No question. What? I'm often wrong. Okay, so could you be wrong about this? No question I could be wrong about this. I just give it my best shot. So it's quite possible that this really is a big deal. It's quite, uh, anything it's, is quite possible. Anything is possible. If the mission statement of a college is what determines the direction that college will take, don't you think that's a big deal? I read the new mission statement. It didn't seem to be loaded with dynamite. Okay, I might not seem to be. I want to revisit the question of what qualifies you and many others that voted uh, positively on the mission statement to make that decision. Seeing as, as how you're very unfamiliar with China, evidently, uh, you, you, know, you had no past relationship with the school. Mm -hmm. uh, I personally have brought more money into the school than you have. Uh, in fact, as you can see from our signs, we remind you that we brought in a lot more money than a lot of you, the new trustees, have. Um, you know, you said you have a background in fundraising, but I think there's good reason to believe that you didn't even pay your entrance fee to the board yourself. I'm pretty sure that someone else did. I'm wondering what qualifies you and many others to make this decision. That's, that's a, a, a really simple question. And the answer is because I was duly appointed a member of the board, full stop. Duly? Right. Yeah. Duly through fraudulent means? Is that fine? Uh, I said that at the board meeting.